condition since. He died in hospital yesterday evening. Rakeem Miles was arrested on Friday and later charged with grievous bodily harm with intent. Paris 2024 Paralympic Games. Team GB para-athletes have been making their way to Paris this morning via St Pancras. We caught up with para swimmer and silver medal holder Grace Harvey, who says she's thrilled to be taking part and also to be seen as a role model for future athletes. This is elite sport. It doesn't matter that we have a disability. At the end of the day, we're there to compete against each other and see who's going to come out on top. And if people are looking at you and saying, you know, I would like to give that a go and have a try, how would that make you feel? Amazing. You know, even if you just inspire one person to take up an activity, take up a sport, then we're really starting to change that narrative. Celebrated composer and singer-songwriter Erilyn Wallen has been appointed Master of the King's Music. <laughs> British musician has previously composed music for the London 2012 Paralympic Games, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, and was the first black woman to have a work featured in the proms. She says she sees the role as an opportunity to teach people about music. I see this role as not so much about myself as to championing music and music making for everyone, and to really sort of survey the landscape, um, United Kingdom, Commonwealth, forge greater links. And, you know, at the heart of it all is, is the need for more, you know, real access to strong music education for children everywhere. Visit West London this bank holiday to soak up the atmosphere at the Notting Hill Carnival. Today marked the first day of Europe's biggest street party where music, dancing, colourful costumes and partygoers come together to enjoy things. Rosie Barnett has more. Drum roll and the biggest day on Notting Hill's calendar officially begins. Carnival transforming streets into seas of colour, an explosion of music, culture, energy, and community. Yeah, three days. Just means everything to the black community. It means everything. <laughs> it means just coming together, everybody around the world, just a melting pot of all the Caribbean countries and the descendants of Africa. Together. It's a celebration. A celebration that spanned nearly six decades while the crowds have significantly grown. The message has remained loud and clear. Carnival is a celebration of the people, in my opinion, because of all the migration and stuff in the Caribbean and just getting everyone to understand the culture and what we're about, really. Today's festivities are all about passing the carnival baton onto the next generation with a day full of family-friendly activities kicked off by the children's parade. For the kids watching from the sidelines, it was a clear favourite for all. I like the dancing and the costumes. Carnival without Dutty Mars, a tradition where those who are gay get doused with everything from glitter to paint and even mud. Well, the mud is an amazing thing. You get you get lots of different reactions. When it first comes out, then you, people start to put it on them. It's like, wow, what is that? And they, it's like electricity goes through them. On stage, performers set crowds wild. <laughs> While off stage, some lucky fans were treated to an impromptu performance from Craig David. <laughs> jam-packed day of joy that won't soon be forgotten. I want to do it again. And you can. It's back again tomorrow for what's promised to be London's party of the year. Uh, Rosie Barnett, ITV News. Didn't it? Let's get the forecast now. Here's Chris. Whatever the weather, it always feels like home. Valent Heat Pumps and Boilers sponsor ITV London Weekend Weather. Hello there. Very good evening to you. Yes, there was some sunshine to begin with first thing this morning. A beautiful start to this Sunday, although it was rather chilly. In fact, a bit of a nip in the air. Temperatures last night dipped to around 7. 
4.8 degrees Celsius. And as we go through the last week of August and the last week of meteorological summer, it looks like actually summer will fight back this week after a good couple of cool days. Lighter winds, there'll be some dry, bright and sunny spells, but things warming up as we work towards the middle part of this week. Keep an eye on Wednesday in a moment. Back to the here and now, though, as for Bank Holiday Monday, it looks like probably the best day of the last couple of days, actually, because we're in between weather systems through tomorrow. The ice bars, the white lines on the chart, they're wider spacing on them, too, so we'll see some lighter winds. That means what we do see some sunshine, it will feel quite pleasant. As for the rest of this evening and overnight, there'll be one or two isolated showers, mainly affecting the southern home counties, but otherwise, further north you are, I suspect tonight, a dry night to come with some clear spells, and temperatures not as low as last night either, holding up around 14 or 15 degrees. As for Bank Holiday Monday, we start tomorrow morning with the sunshine of five starts per day, and warm and pleasant in that sunshine for all of us too. A little patchy cloud for the afternoon, and with those lighter winds, like I said, a fairly fine afternoon to come. Temperatures easily 21 to 22, maybe 23 degrees Celsius. High pressure, though, starts to build its way in as we work towards the middle part of this week. That changes the wind direction, this time from a southerly to southeasterly, and you notice the oranges and the reds start to pull their way in from northern France and parts of the Iberian Peninsula. So, therefore, with some sunshine this week, temperatures easily back up to the upper 20s. Take care. Sponsor ITV London Weekend Weather. That's all from us. We'll be back with updates tomorrow in Good Morning Britain. But for now, from all of us on the London team, do enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.